Oh shit. Oh shit, we live? Am I live? I think I am live. Fingers crossed. Looks like I am. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, yes. Load info. Uh, read mission log. Yeah, sure. To stop the terrorist nuclear attack, Snake must deactivate the detonation code or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake and Merrill head to the underground maintenance base where Metal Gear is being stored. However, Foxhound member Psycho Mantis confronts them. After losing the battle, Mantis tells St Snake there's no way to... No way to what? Get to the underground maintenance base other than going north from the commander's room and through... Ah, and through the cave to the communications tower. Then Mantis dies. And that's the whole game so far. That's everything that's happened in the game so far. Yup, that's the whole mission brief. Really? Doesn't say like the whole... Okay. Um... But alright, uh... There's nothing else to be doing in here, right? Um, but yeah. Uh, let me know if, um... That, like how the audio mix is if anyone's watching I don't think anyone is watching yet but if anyone starts watching please let me know how the audio mix it oh god I can't get through I'm trapped um cause last time it was a bit quiet and that wasn't cool um god is that a, just a plane like outside my house that's that's illegal Uh, I'm a musher. I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Oh god. My own audio mix is bad. Too quiet. Um But okay. Um by the way, apparently uh you may recall if you watched last time, uh I was afraid that like my headphones were broken. Uh, no, turns out, I guess, they were just, like, not plugged in all the way or something. Um, because they seem to be fine now, which is wonderful. Um, so this is the part of the game where Snake gets fucking eaten by wolves. Or should I say wolf dogs? Half wolf, half husky. He would know, he's a musher. Um, but instead... Just gonna trank them. Um, cause everyone likes Sleepy Pupper. He's a PSG Munchie first, man. Uh, God, I would love to have more fucking trank ammo. And yes, I could just use the fucking uh, infinite ammo headband, but I'm again, I'm trying not to use that stuff. Except, like, in boss fights, you know? Shit. Hands up. Hands to the sky, puppo. This may seem mean, but... A, I'm just putting them... I'm just putting them to sleep, like, nappy naps. Uh, so they're fine. And also, if I don't do that, then this place is really awful! Nope. Um. What? Is this how you do it? I think this is what you do. Maybe you need to stand in a certain spot. I know that there's a way, there's like a thing you can do where you get in the box and one of the dogs pees on it. And everybody laughs. It's a good time. But I don't remember how to do it. I didn't 
think to look it up beforehand. Snake, you know you can literally just crawl and mines don't pick you up. You know this. This whole scene is pointless. Like, this is a very cool scene. This is a very cool thing that's happening here. Because, like, there's a minefield and she's just, like, walking through it. And, like, that's really cool, actually. But... Yeah, kinda. It's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Um, but it's kind of entirely voided by... Hey, I think actually... Oh, no, it doesn't work in this game. Night vision? Nah. Um, but you can just crawl around. It doesn't matter where the mines are, because you just pick them up when you get to one. So, you know, it's not nearly as big of a deal as they make it out to be. It's a cool scene, though. And I'm doing this because I don't like the next thing that happens. <laughs> but let's do it. Let's get there. Um, this next scene is fucking stupid. Like... What are you doing there, Meryl? What are you doing? Snake, what are you doing? Have you never seen a laser sight before? You've got one on your gun. Like... I get the, like, shock of it. I get the, like... Confusion and, like... Oh shititude of it. But like come on, y'all. Also, I don't get why <laughs> she didn't just shoot Snake in the face. Like I don't get why Snake isn't just shot in the face there. Never! Meryl! Yeah, n yeah, no shit, Snake! You know what's a, a more effective old trick? Just shooting your enemy in the face! Like, if, you, if they just shot him in the face, then they wouldn't need to have done the bait thing. God, I'm eight minutes into the stream and my foot's already asleep. That's... that bodes poorly. Mm. Meryl, you're not slowing me down. A sniper is slowing me down. It's a pretty big difference. Yeah, that is a pretty foolish thing. I like how they actually kind of have the detail there when the laser sight is like on her eye that her eyes like closed. Just the one. It's like a really simple kind of dumb thing, but it's like, good job. God, Meryl, I'll be back in, like, 20 minutes tops. Here, I'll throw you a ration. You'll be fine. 
Just chow down. God. Such a drama queen. Yeah. The sniper's trick to lure you out. Yeah. The sniper's waiting for you to go to help Merrill so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Uh huh. It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. I would imagine that the sniper is Sniper Wolf. I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter to her. Damn. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Damn. But Merrill can't hold out that long. Snake, just throw her a ration. Or above that. Yeah. Yeah. Colonel, calm your shit. Oh, this is where it starts. This is where it starts. I love it. I don't know what the hell my jeans look like, and I don't care. I often have instinct. Like an animal. I'm going to save Meryl. That's the lean excuse. Snake, you're a murderer. It says so in your jeans. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. God, Naomi. It's almost as if you've got a grudge against Snake for some reason. Nope, Snake, I wanted you to do a roll there, thank you. That's not... Wait, does this game have rolling? Yeah, it does. Okay, Snake, you were just being an idiot. Alright, um... So... Um, I've got two options here, technically. Um, there's the traditional way to do this bit, and there is the Twin Snakes way. Um, I'm going to do the full traditional way, kind of, um, because, uh, as I mentioned last stream, um, this game added, uh, the PSG-1T, which is a Trank Sniper, uh, that was not in the original game, because the original game didn't have any Trank weaponry. Um, so, that's a neat thing. Uh, it is also in this room, which is, you know infinitely more convenient than getting the regular sniper which I have to go back to floor B2 of the other building oh damn it. I want to open the door hide this guy um that's right that's what the button is um I forgot what buttons do um But, so I'm going to get the uh, PSG-1T, and that is actually what I will use for the fight, but I also do want to stop back uh, at the place and um, get the proper thing, the PSG-1. Okay, that wasn't nearly as interesting as I was hoping it would be. Um, so yeah, I've got the PSG-1T now. Um, but, just using that's boring. Except for the fact that I will be using that. Because, um, I don't know, even though it doesn't functionally matter... Like, no matter what you do, the bosses die. Whether you use stun grenades or regular grenades, whether you use a trank gun or your fists or 
you know, a fucking machine gun. Uh, the bosses always die no matter what. But, I don't know, I like tranking them. At least in this game, that's the case. Um, in... Uh, some of the other games... Uh, you actually can, like, trank, and that is actually, like, a different thing that happens narratively. Why the fuck was there just a grenade in there? Um. Actually, you know what, I will just run out. It's not that far. Uh, you can use the boxes. Uh, if you go in the truck and put on like the heliport box um you will get uh driven to the heliport which is like a neat thing it's a neat thing that happens um There's that tank I beat in a fight. And all these dudes. Oh shit, and a lot of cameras. A lot of cameras with good range. Hey, stop. Hey, uh, stop. 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 Got in one. Fucking nailed it. Oh, shit. Whoo! Nailed it. Got in one. Oh, who are you now? Also, I still fucking just love the fact that, like, these soldiers have received gene therapy, which increases their senses. It's like, this dude can't see. More than 10 feet in front of his fucking face. What are you talking about? How bad was he before? Were they all blind? Were they all literally blind before gene therapy? And now this room only has one tank in it. Because I blew up the one tank. Well, more accurately, because Raven took it, but... Um, come on, elevator. Nailed it. <sighs> but yeah, stuff, right? I'll admit, kind of thought more people would be watching this by now considering people were actually watching last time um but um you know it is what it is still going up on the YouTubes so hey YouTube people how you doing like comment and subscribe if you're hearing this so you know you're way cooler and better than all those lame ass Twitch folk. They suck, right? Um, I'm just kidding, Twitch folk. I love you. Even though you're not seeing this or hearing me say that. Um, I love my viewers. However they are. Uh, what were the doors in this area? Are they five? Four? Six. Weak. Okay, um... So we got the PSG1 then. So... Now we can go back. To fight. Sniper Wolf. 
and what I would say is a boss battle. Controversial opinion, I know. Um, yeah, honestly, like, in some ways this game is kind of metroidvania E in that, like, if you go back to places you've been before with, like, advanced key cards, you can, like, get into new areas um, to get new toys and stuff. Um, but in a lot of ways, it doesn't really do it particularly well or interestingly. Because, like, there aren't actually all that many times that you have to. It's usually more optional. This is one of the times that you literally have to. And most of the time, the stuff that you can get isn't really all that interesting. It's like, you know, you got the Famas, which, like, I guess is cool, but I don't think there's literally a point where I'm going to use it. Okay, I think I got them all. So, like, it's not that big a deal to get the Famas. Famas? I'm gonna say Famas. It sounds cooler. Uh, B1. Wait. Yes. B1. B2 is. Yeah. Nailed it. Got in one. B2 is where Otacon is. And no one wants to go see that nerd. Um, how much actual ammo do I have? God, 11 shots. 61. Hey game, you prioritizing one way of playing? Huh? Doesn't actually matter because I have infinite ammo. And since this is a boss fight, I will use it. But I find it kind of funny anyway. Again, for most parts of this game, I'm not going to be using infinite ammo. And I don't think I'm ever going to use the stealth camouflage. Um, Just because, like... Especially on this difficulty, it's really not necessary. Um, and technically, I could e pretty easily get through this whole game without using the infinite ammo bandana. But, like, in this case, it makes it way more convenient because I don't have to like go out and in of the, like in and out of the same fucking room to get more ammo. Um, wait, so how do I use it? Okay. Um, and uh, pentesimen. There you are. The one time you'll use this. I forgot that he fucking sits up anyway to snipe. Oh, shit. How do I... Shit, how do I... Zoom in with B? That's the cancel button, game. Fuck. Also, I hate... I hate the way that this works. Because it's not like a fluid thing. Like, you snipe on a grid. I literally can't make smaller movements than that. Which, like, that's a head width. <laughs> I 
And then when the fucking drug wears off. Fuck, I hit the wrong button. God damn it. Where are you? Come on. Oh wait, shit. Um. I'm good at games. Who said I'm not? God, look at that! That is the smallest movement I can make right now. Fuck. Of course that's when she doesn't. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Come on, stop going there. You know you can't see me. You know that place is pointless to go to. Gotcha. Gotcha. Shit. Oh, nailed it. Boom. I got her. <sighs> Otacon. Oh no, and Meryl's gone. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit, there's a camera. I forgot there's cameras there. Um. I forget what happens if you actually just try and fucking rush this. Um, I think she, like, just fucking, like, destroys you somehow. Like, she fucking, like, gatlings you, basically. But I admittedly don't remember what actually is stopping you from just... It might just straight up be a fucking invisible wall. Oh no, where did she go? Well, better go through this level 6 door. While I pull myself out by the garage. Tonight's beverage is brought to you by UB Vodka. It's hard to miss when you're this close. I bet you could still could. You could still miss. Slowly. Mm -hmm. I love that bounce around, kick the weapon away. So good. Hey, did you know she has boobs? I mean a little bit. Joke's on you, I'm gonna kill Otacon this playthrough. Yeah. Oh, crack my every bone. How many bones do I have? Because they all cracked. Well, there's a first time to fuck up for everyone. Rude. Neither will I. That hurt like a motherfucker. All I'll think about. I gotta admit, I'm confused and aroused. I love this. Snake's like, oh, I'm a fucking badass. And then like, no. No, man. <gasps> Accidents like that, DARPA chief. 
Do they mean him having a heart attack? What could that mean? Accidents? Like that DARPA chief? Can you hear me, solid snake? Yes, I can. You know who I am. Uh, I always kinda? I steal your girl, buddy? It. Your body is down tight. I can still wiggle. Boy, I'm the man from whom you stole everything good. Okay. After the sacrifice of our brothers, mm -hmm. long years, finally, the two of us meet. Neat. Um... The what? Do you need his genetic information too? Yes. I want a sample while hmm? he's still alive. Why? To correct the genome soldiers mutation. Genes are still the same after death, you know. No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? <laughs> As a Kurd, but that's. I don't know. Cool. Did you not know I was awake? You were talking to me and saying don't struggle. Did you not realize I was awake? God, I love that. I love that shot. I love that stupid eye zoom thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. <gasps> sons of Big Boss? Oh, Nito. Those buffoons. All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demand. <gasps> we'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Neat. No, oh, I hate them. No, I'm never wrong. Oh snap. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. More sleeves! They're wearing so many jackets! Write it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. Sure? Gonna be good. <gasps> Boobs. It's time to feed the family. <gasps> the family. You prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Can't say I blame her. Wolves are cool. Screw up like you did with the chief. <gasps> the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. You mean I didn't the chief of the local police? Well, no, his mental defenses were reinforced by, like, cybernetic implants that made him immune to psychics. How many psychics are there that they've developed a fucking psychic-proof implant? They really don't mention many in the series. 
it's pretty much just fucking Psycho Mantis. <gasps> Torture. This is an interrogation. Is it? I don't know anything. I'm very dumb. Sup? Come here often? Your woman is still in this world. Neat. Meryl. <laughs> also, oh, I love you. Even if you're kind of, kind of a creep sometimes. See you later, alligator. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Huh. Sometimes she even falls in love with him before she kills them. Well then. That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. I wouldn't advise it. Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Are you hitting on me? This is some bed, all right. I'm about to Cause I'll let you know I'm into that. Fucking pulls away. Was taking quite a chance sending you here. Uh, a lot of faith in your skill, carrier boy. <gasps> carrier boy, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? God, Snake, you're the fucking worst at this. The Colonel. Snake, you're the worst at that. Man, look at that shadow. That shadow's so good and was definitely there the whole time. She's not dead yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you wanted to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Yes. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm a dumbass. I don't know fuckity anything. I see. No problem, then. <laughs> Ocelot, I love you so much. Oh, get ready for what's probably gonna sound real bad. I'll move the controller as far away from the mic as I can. GameCube controllers have loud buttons. This is probably not going to be great. Press the resist button repeatedly. <laughs> when you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. <laughs> I love that he's saying that. The game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. <laughs> Ah, I've been playing for like 40 minutes. So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? I love this part so much. I, won't tell. I love it so much. 
It's such metal bullshit. Oh, hello! You're just in time for some of the best scenes in the game. Did you know that it was the F what am I saying? That's literally every scene in this game. I love this game. Oh god, my leg is asleep. Time to flip legs. Ice cream is far more important than my bullshit. Okay, and... Uh, how's the audio level? I, I bumped game volume this time around. Um, so, the game should be a little bit louder, but hopefully I'm still... I d There's so many songs that could be stuck in your head. I don't know. Um, is it the I, I don't the the Metal Gear song. I literally don't know that song. I could not have guessed that. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. That was an impossible game for me to try and guess that. Because I do not know what song you're talking about. This game was rigged. I don't think so? I haven't had a Christmas song stuck in my head since like January as far as I know. Send it to me once I'm done with the stream and I'll tell you if I've heard it, but that's not ringing any bells. Oh, beans, a dead body. Oh. The Darpa Chief. I have never heard that in my life. Yeah, I... Are you okay? <laughs> It, I mean, I would imagine it sounds like it would be annoying as shit. Okay. I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. <gasps> oh. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? You know about the nukes. <laughs> I know of Shirley Temple. That's about it. I don't know any Shirley Temple songs offhand. Like, I probably couldn't pick Shirley Temple out in a lineup. Oh shit, is that animal crackers in my soup, girl? I know animal crackers in my soup. I know of it, that is. 
in that I know that one line and that's about it. Sorry, that was probably like an audioly bad minute, but I just got like some serious heartburn, so I just took some non-brand name Tums to settle my non-brand name Tum. That's not possible. No, I would never swish around alcohol. Because alcohol is bad taste, and I would only swish things for good taste or to get literal chalk out from between my teeth. I mean, I do have some booze, but it's mixed with soda. Because, you know, I'm not a fucking animal. Destroy Metal Gear. You know I'm gonna. Um. Okay, so. Damn, I got a cold. <laughs> Poor Johnny. Poor Johnny. Poor Johnny. Hey, rude. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? 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 Um, yeah, there's literally nothing I can do at this point. It's literally just kind of waiting around. Um, for this. What? Honey, no. <laughs> Metal Gear, like, you hide in a box, like a cardboard box, sometimes, but, no, there's so much more to Metal Gear than boxes. Cool, good for you. Yep. I was trained by the Russian group. Yep. I know. Bro, like oh, tell me about it. All oh, right. That's a little wild. Confuse me with those uniform fools. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do it. Oh fuck. Nailed it. I didn't. I'd prefer we didn't. Nailed it. Still good. Flawless. But could we be? Oh, so good. Didn't even hurt. The fucking best of this game. You're a strong man. I like strong men, if you know what I mean. Solid snake. I should know what that last word means, but I don't. That's a shame. Is it you? Oh. Cool. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. Is it uh Gerlukovich? I bet it is. You're in this for the money. I don't need money. I want baby water? To lead a brave new world order. Did, what? What is baby water? Water for babies is just water. What are you talking about? You can't just say words. Shut up in there, will you? No. Hey. I will not. I mean, all good tap water has fluoride in it. I love this. She, the, the game made the controller vibrate. So you put that up to your arm and for like two seconds it vibrates. And it's dumb as shit. It's water. Water is water. Like unless you're in a place that has like poison water like Flint or something. Tap water is tap water. It's fine. You people. Huh. That's fucked up, Snake. You and, like, everyone else I know. I'm, like, the only one I know that drinks, like, fucking tap water. Which is wild. You people are weird. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. It's Alaska does seem like a pretty good place to like not deal with other people so long as you don't mind like dying of exposure and hypothermia okay even in large amounts fluoride is fine for you it just turns your teeth like brown or whatever but like they're fine 
I would advise listening to the episode of Sawbones about it. Because Sawbones is a fucking good podcast. And they say smart things. I mean, maybe, but, like, you need, like, a lot of it for anything like that. Ah, in Zanzibar land. I mean, depending on the war, it is pretty good reason. We made out. It was cool. That's a pretty cool image. Like, not gonna lie, that's a pretty sick image there. Yeah, it's not great. Naomi, you're an idiot. Well, you see, I'm a eugenicist. I'm super, super, super into, like, white people. So... Um, so she was saying, like, is there a woman in your life, any family, any friends? And then he started talking about Frank Yeager, a.k.a. Gray Fox, a.k.a. the Cyborg Ninja. Naomi, I... It's not how genes work, Naomi. It's not how genes work. Hey, buddy. Seen better days. God, Johnny. Just cannot catch a break. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like, I will straight up say, uh, the entirety of Metal Gear is like... There's a lot of homoeroticism. Like, a lot. Oh, damn it. Otacon. Snake, it's me. Otacon. Your buddy. This is just like one of my Japanese anime. I'm not afraid to beat up a nerd while I'm in jail. Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Yes. Otacon, I'm in jail and I'll still kick your ass. Jeez. Uh, it's like an animal's cage. What a smell. I've been pooping in the corner, Otacon. Not that corner! That'd be rude! Snake, you've been in here for 30 minutes! It is literally named after an otaku convention. He, sp he straight up says that Otakon is short for otaku convention, and there is an official otaku convention that partnered with Metal Gear called Otacon. That is where the name comes from. Why that is the case, I cannot fucking comprehend. <laughs> but 
like watch the f watch the first video watch it he straight up says call me otakon it's short for otaku convention i'm not joking this is 100 percent serious metal gear is so fucking stupid i love it and here we and here we have Otacon talking about how the the sniper lady with the boobs out who shot Meryl like way too many times must be a good person because she likes dogs. Um the original came out for PlayStation 1. I'm going to guess it was like 1999, 2000. Oh, no, you're solid PS1. Uh, 1998, damn. Uh, this is a GameCube remake, uh, which came out in, I think, like 2004. Um, damn it. Damn it. I fucked that up. Uh, so that's one of the ways that you can get out of the cell. Um. I fucked it up. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Sometimes it be like that, you know? Look, Johnny's not a smart person. Johnny is very bad at his job, and frankly doesn't really even like his job. Snake, it's showtime. Wants you. Damn it. More torture. Um, but yeah, Johnny notoriously and frequently gets his ass kicked, um, and gets diarrhea. Um, his whole family actually is cursed to be bad at soldiering, get their ass kicked, and have diarrhea. It's a running joke in the series. Oh shit, I haven't been saving, huh? There are no continues, my friend. How did you like that? I I didn't. It it sucked. Come on, you gotta know that, right? Had enough yet. Oh, we're not finished yet. Oh, can we be? I mean, technically there is a button that I can press to, um, get out of it at any time. There is actually a canonical safe word. Uh, but if I do that, then Meryl gets killed. So I'm not doing that. Maybe proof is just nothing. No, it is definitely non-consensual. I will grant you that. It is literal torture.
Okay. So. Come on, Johnny. I need you to go. Take another Boopums. Come on. All right, good luck and Godspeed. Get them Oreos. I'm gonna fake my own death. Fake my death, get out of jail. The only way I know how. Come on, Johnny. Check on me. You're a prisoner. Covered in blood. Get wrecked, son. Come on, Byron. Oh, wait! Come on, man. You're sick. How many fucking kicks can you take? Stop it! Okay. And there we have it. Flawless jailbreak. Oh. Uh, and now the worst part. Snake puts back his sh puts his shirt back on. Um. And where is it? Where is? There we go. Whoop. No, thank you. Snake, there is a bomb in your thing. Oh. Thought that was gonna be Grey Fox. Because Grey Fox definitely calls you about that. Snake, there is a bomb in your thing. Watch out, bro. Also, I'll put a bomb in your butt. There is a bomb in your trousers, Snake. Okay, so now I got the level 6 card, which means I can go get whatever is in the secret rooms in the armory. I genuinely don't even know what it is. If anything, honestly, it straight up might just be like ammo, which would be kind of disappointing. But, you know, such is life. Kind of disappointing. Um, remember this place? Good times. Okay. Oh, fucking. Oh, wait, I already shot out the cameras, didn't I? At least some of them? I think I still hear some. Oh, cool. Get the stinger first. Awesome. And, uh... Oh, shit. This was level four, so I could have come here. Shit. Nope. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on! Damn. Okay. Um. Is there literally anything in this room? Oh shit, maybe this was the room that had the fucking... This might have been the room that, uh, person was talking about last, last week. That, or last two weeks ago, last stream. Where you can get the... PSG1 early. Yeah, it might have been it. 
though I don't remember what level key card we had at that time, but that might be it. Because that was a fucking empty room, which is, you know, just like a little bit disappointing. Just like a, just like a little bit disappointing to find an empty room that had three fucking turrets in it. Three camera turrets. That's a lot of camera turrets for literally no treasure. That's kind of what I mean when I say like this game is a Metroidvania, but not like particularly a good one. Because, like, if this were a Metroid game, there'd be at least, like, a missile expansion in there. Like, Metroid games, at least Prime 1, 2, and 3. Technically, I've never beaten 3, so I can't really say for that. But at least Prime 1 and 2. I don't think they ever have a room that's just, like empty there's always like something again usually at least like a missile expansion or something i think the very worst is that there's like one room that like only has lore but every other room has at least like missiles or more health or more light slash dark ammo or one of the chozo artifacts that you need for the end or something but this game like you got that room that you got a room that has stinger missiles that you can't pick up yet because you don't have the stinger launcher and you've got a room that has literally nothing it's like Okay, why though? Why is this the case? That's kind of weird, right? Um, okay, so this time going through the wolf place, uh, we, we won't have to trank the wolves, which is cool. Um, by the way, um, I didn't mention it before, but uh, I was tranking them. You might be thinking like, oh, what if you use the stealth camo? Uh, the stealth camo does not work. Um, they see through the stealth camo because they can like smell you. Um, but if you equip the handkerchief, uh, which is Sniper Wolf's handkerchief, uh, the wolves like you because they're like, oh, you smell like mom. Uh, which is neat. And then we go back here. Alright, this is timing out just about as perfectly as I could have hoped. I remember it like it was yesterday. Snake, it was 20 minutes ago. Yeah, game, we remember. I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. Damn, man. That's got to fucking hurt. Shot in both legs and arm. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. <laughs> See, that's character growth. Please, save yourself. But also, like... Don't don't give up people. Man, it took you getting shot three times to realize that war is bad? When you mowed down, like... A dozen dudes that didn't do it for you killing a dozen people didn't do it for you you had to 
get shot yourself? It's kind of shitty, man. Okay, but uh, Ocelot straight up said that, like, we aren't prisoners of war. The hostages. Ooh. Yeah. It's really not. <gasps> Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. <gasps> Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I still miss the original mailing voice. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop liquid. That's what Meryl would want to. Yeah, stop liquid, Snake. That's why we're calling you Damn Snake from now on. Cause, cause you stop liquid. that work out? Uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi, I thought that you didn't have any family. Yeah! After I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. <gasps> A likely story. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Watch your back. Snake and trust Naomi. She seems legit. Um. Okay. Uh. Where are the fucking cameras here? Cause they're. You know what? I don't care. Cause I can just run past them. Or not. You know. Whatever. Um. Okay. So I'm going to save here. Cause I always get scared at this part. Um, I always get scared here because of a thing that will become apparent in a minute. The Chinese say it is the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It's because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. And also because I spiked his drink with horse tranquilizers. That cheating motherfucker. And Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. And now I have to switch the discs. Which always scares me. It always scared me originally, and then now I'm playing this on a Wii, which isn't even, you know, the original console for this version, so, like, it double scares me. Um, but anyway, this is a good spot for me to take a quick break. Um, so, well, look at that. Look at that map. Flip it upside down. Um... Why would I want to do that? Um, but yeah, so we'll take a quick break here. Um, use the bathroom, grab a snack, all that fun stuff. Uh, and see you in a minute. Bye-bye! For a minute.
Okay, I'm back. And hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, also, bad news, sorry, but um, canonically, uh, Solid Snake's name is David, actually, which is just really unfortunate because it's like the worst name for like anyone or anything. But, um, yeah, them's the snakes. Um, fuck. I forgot I'm at this part. Um, this part sucks. Um, this part of the game, it, uh, sucks. It's bad. Because, uh, for this part of the game, you're just running up this huge ass tower that, um, is like a thousand billion stories tall. And there's literally infinite dudes that spawn to, like, get ya. Otacon's image in the fucking... Otacon's image in the codec here always seemed really weird to me. Like, he always kind of looks like a monkey to me. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know exactly what it is. I guess it's like his hair or something. But he always looks like... Like a monkey. Um, but yeah, this, this part, as you can see, I am using the infinite ammo bandana, uh, just so I can spam stun grenades, because this is about the only way that this part of the game is, like, tolerable. Um, I have obviously done it legitimately, because you have to beat the game without the bandana obviously um but like even with this i'm still getting shot at like there's there's literally infinite dudes they spawn above you and below you you can take your time to like trank them out or shoot them or whatever but there's just always more um until you hit this point around here somewhere hello game weird weird usually it breaks like once you get to the top of the stairs I don't know what happened there huh Oh, well. Oh. Made this drink a bit strong. Just a bit on the strong side. Oh, I'm getting used to it drinking weak shit again. Man, yeah, this is... I think this is like the worst part of the game. Because it's two back-to-back -back parts that kinda suck. <laughs> Though this is great. <laughs> he blows up an I-beam that's flying at him by throwing a grenade at it. 
Because of course he does. Of course he does. Um... Oh, that just sucks. Was this part in the original? I genuinely don't know. Like, I think I remember seeing something that, like, the fight against the hind was, like, added in this version. Or at least, like, s significantly changed. If only I had a rope. Thank God I have a rope. Hey. No. If I stay here, I'm finished. Good thing I got that rope. Um, rope. <laughs> Use rope on ledge. Good thing he gave me a chance to tie this rope. That's a good thing I have. But yeah, the climbing up this fucking tower sucks. And then now this part sucks. Ah, uh, because you have to like rappel down and you only have so much grip and... It's not good. Press the A button to kick away from the wall. While away from the wall, push down on the control stick to descend. If you kick off the wall by pushing the control stick left or right, you make a large jump in that direction. You can walk yeah, you... across the wall if you press and hold the B button. To move around like, there's all of this shit. Push the control stick. But also like this, it, like, it doesn't really work. Like, this is a, like, prolonged thing, and it doesn't really work all that well. And it's the only time that this, like, comes up, like, at all. I get my grip back. Um, and it's just like, weird. Okay, maybe it's not as prolonged as I thought it was. Or maybe it's length is based on difficulty? I actually forget. Because I, I always feel like that scene is way longer. But that actually might just be... The length that it always is, and it just drags on because it sucks. Because it's like not fun and mechanically bad. Um. So. Here we do the only thing sensible and, uh, place some C4 to blow the ice off a door. That's what you do with ice. Um, and then um, Pentazamin, Thermal. Um, I remember that trick. All beans. Uh, though it's weird, because those guys' bodies, like, vanish. Which, um... 
is weird because that's usually what that's what happens sometimes when you kill a dude but like I tranked them so they're fine they're fine you're fine everything's fine but uh okay I got the stinger now um oh, god damn it that's right do, 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 do. Gotta go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. All of the stairs. All of the stairs. There's so many stairs. Except there aren't enough stairs. Oh. More fuck. Why? My parents took them away because I am grounded. Um. And then a cutscene. Oh shit, we are rapidly approaching the best fucking codec conversation in the whole goddamn game. Don't shoot. We're so close, y'all. Best conversation, whole game. Explain why I shouldn't shoot you. Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. It's pretty nifty. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. <gasps> That's why I took the elevator. <laughs> the elevator was working. Again, <laughs> this cutscene's also very good. Everything involving the, the elevator is very good. Shut the fuck up, Snake. Sorry. Forget I said that. Snake, you fucking drama queen. Really Chill the fuck out. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask. <laughs> no. I <laughs> Oh, snake can love bloom even on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, it's so good! I love it. Snake, you fucking lot of cum. Fucking absolute. Oh. Why is this scene? Why is this scene? I have a favor to ask. Uh oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um I told you before I won't hurt anyone. Here's a trank gun. It won't hurt them. I don't want you to. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. Huh. It sure is. That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, <sighs> leave it to me. God, everything involving the elevators. I've got to go and swap a noisy fly. <gasps> okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. I'll stay here and not shoot down a helicopter. You really look like hell. Are you okay? I'm a no taku. I'm never okay. Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just pretend like I'm not here. 
Oticon, you fucking weirdo. Okay. Ah, uh, no, not that. Oh, fuck, what's... Yeah, this is the right one. I think it's every four floors? Or every four staircases? There's more gun things um so like that first one there's one now this one there's two my god i'm so bad at shooting cameras um next one there's three up to i think five which is like so pointless Damn it. Got it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, come on now. There we go. I don't know why I'm so bad at shooting cameras. Usually I'm like really good at it. Like... Usually I can fucking nail it, but for some reason, this playthrough, I just cannot shoot a camera. It is becoming a problem. Oh. Okay, so it only goes up to four. Mobby, I forgot. I like how it's called Stinger Bullet instead of like Stinger Missile. As if this thing's just like a gun and not like a missile launcher. Um. Okay, it is six door. Okay. Let's shoot down a helicopter. Piloted by some guy who took out two Harriers in that helicopter. What the fuck do you mean by that? God, I do love... I do love how, at least at this part of the whole thing, Snake is just a fucking dumbass. Like, Snake doesn't know a single fucking goddamn thing. Motherfuck, you don't get to shoot me while my missiles can't lock on you. That's cheating. That is the thing I hate about this fight. Um, in this game, and let's be real, there's the same exact fight in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, hey! Welcome! You're just in time to see me shoot down a helicopter. As like a dude standing on the ground. Who can withstand a truly exceptional number of bullets. Come on. Come 
Come on, motherfucker. Got so many invulnerability frames. Like, I shoot him once and he's invulnerable for like 30 goddamn seconds. It is. Oh, oops. Oh, jeez. That didn't go great. I done blew myself up there. Aw, oh, jeezers. Aw, oh, jeepers. Where are you? Hey. I don't want to eat that. Yeah, it was. Thank you. I did it myself. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going. I'm not here for score. Okay. Come on, let me lock on. How many missiles can this helicopter take? I feel like a helicopter goes down in like not that many missiles. Like I'm not a helicopterologist, but I feel like generally speaking, one missile is probably enough to take down a helicopter. But here we are. This dude's taken like over a dozen missiles. Though I guess also Snake has taken a lot of bullets, so I guess I can't complain. Kablamo. And we're almost done. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Right? Right? Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Nailed it. Hey, stop that. Hey, rude. Nailed it. Got in one. missiles does that helicopter have? Because it seemed like not that many. <laughs> God, Solid Snake is so dumb. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Metal Gear, what are you doing? Oh, I love this game. I've said it a hundred times, but I love this game. I love Metal Gear so much. It's the dumbest shit in the world, and I love it so much. Snappy one-liners. What a hero. What an action boy. Neat. How convenient. Oh, dude, you're missing out. These games are beautiful. They're the dumbest shit in the world in, like, the best way. Like, I mean, dude on the left, his codename is Otacon, which is short for Otaku Convention. He is literally named after an actual anime convention that, like, partnered with the game. That is canon! That's... I love this game. I love these games. 
Metal Gear is the stupidest shit in the world, and I love it so much. It also has, like... Like, the first game, overall, is pretty straightforward. There's some twists and turns and stuff, but, like, reasonable amount. But then, like, once we get to the second game... And then from then on, like, obviously it just amps up. But, like, it becomes, like, so convoluted and absurd. It's so beautiful. It's so nonsensical. And I love it so much. Like, it's, it's wonderful. Metal Gear is so dumb. And we're actually coming up in just like a minute on my favorite codec conversation in the whole game actually maybe my favorite in like all of the games it is it is a thing of beauty because like i mean you'll see you'll see why it is so great um let me just Get some stun grenades ready. Just hit this elevator. Um, this is on... Uh, this is actually the remake of the first game for GameCube. The original was on PS1. Um, I think they made... I think maybe they packaged it with, like, HD shit for like PS3, PS4. Um honestly, I don't really know. Um Okay, here we are. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were 5 stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. 5 stealth camouflage prototypes. Take out the one I'm wearing. That leaves 4. Take out the one he's wearing. There's 4. But all four extras were gone. So one plus four, five. Four missing. Whoa. The weight limit warning went off. Otacon couldn't be over the limit. At least five people to set it off. <laughs> oh, I love it. They just straight up just like, hey, here's how math works. Here's a conversation about how math happens. Here's how you do math. Um, but yeah, the original was for, uh, PS1, uh, this is the GameCube H, like, air quotes HD remake, um, that, honestly, I would say this is the way to play the first game, um, because the PS1 version kinda sucks. Uh, oh yeah, as far as I know, there's literally no... Metal Gear on Xbox. Sorry, man. God, I think I've got a nosebleed coming on. Um, been getting them a lot lately. It is not fun. Um, but yeah, this is this is the GameCube remake, which I'm actually playing on Wii. Um, cause. Why not just make everything as convoluted as possible? You know? Um. Oh, fuck. Stop shooting me, jerk. Stop it! Stop it! Rude! <sighs> okay. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Damn it! Should've looked. Fuck you, camera. 
There we go. Um, but yeah, I know they made like HD remakes of two and three and maybe four. I don't know if they ever actually like made an official PlayStation HD remake of one. Um. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, they should. Like, straight up, absolutely 100% they should. Um. Because, really, this is a series that you should enter at one. Like, there's some game series that you can be like, you can jump in at like two or three and it doesn't really matter. Like, Assassin's Creed, generally, you can jump in that at any point and like, whatever. Like, you won't maybe understand the meta plot stuff, but, like, who cares because you're jumping around in you okay? Egypt and stabbing people. Um. But, like, this game, like, Metal Gear, if you want to understand it, you need to start at one. Like, you need to play all of them. You need to start at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And some of the spin-offs, which... Thankfully, the spin-offs did go to PS3, I believe. Um, or at least Peace Walker did. There's still Portable Ops, which was only PSP, because fuck you. Yeah, Otacon. Stop doing that. I have heard good things about the HD remakes of um, Metal Gear 2 and 3. Uh, namely, they fix some camera issues because they don't have like a fixed camera and instead have like a movable camera like a modern game at least for three which is pretty cool um because apparently a lot of people complained about the camera in three which i can understand honestly but um i don't know i played this one so Okay, sniper fight. Where are you at, Wolf? Shit. Shit. Okay. Oh shit, this is not gonna go great. Oh, this ain't gonna go well. Oh, come on! Oh, damn it, game! I still don't like the way that this works. Because, like, that is the smallest increment that I can move this goddamn scope. I th That is the smallest increment that I can aim at. Which makes it really hard to fine tune a shot. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Boom. Nailed it. Alright, nighty night, friendo. Have pleasant. Thanks for stopping by. As the kids say. Good luck, have fun, or whatever. I don't know what kids say. I am ancient. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. Shit. God damn it. Game. Oh, did you? Aiming faster than me. Stop it.
Oh shit, I'm like bleeding out, huh? <sighs> Alright, whatever. I'm not here for score. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using infinite ammo bandana. Come on! Show yourself before the drugs were off. Oh wait, fuck, you're not there. You moved? Shit. Shit. There you are. I found you because you didn't hide your gun. That could have been really bad for me, but you're bad at this. Thank you, Snipey. Oh, come on! You don't get to shoot me while I'm shooting you. Come on, stop it. Come on. How many tranks do you need? Come on. Come on. Come on, punk. Boom! Nailed it. Got in one. Hey, I don't know if this sounds good on mic, but it's my favorite sound in the world. Hey, I guess who's had over two liters of soda since this stream began? Spoilers, it's me. Also, watch out. I guess Snake's gonna get shot in the head or something. Except not even. Because he's doing backflips like a motherfucker. Like some kind of stupid, ridiculous action hero. Oh no. The wolves cry out in sorrow. Because they mommy got shot. Alright, and now we run forward about 10 feet, and more cutscene. I don't know why there's that 10 foot run. I guess in, think, in case you think they, uh, I guess they think you're stupid and think that maybe the fight's still happening. I don't know. You know, for never removing a muscle and staying in the same spot for weeks, you moved around a lot during that fight. Well, that's cool, I guess. So that's why you're called Wolf. Y yeah, sure. Oh, wait, shit. Wait, I maybe know a thing. One sec. Who are the Kurds? Eastern Turkey. Northern Iraq, Western Iran, Eastern Syria. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Because I know um, in Turkish... The word for wolf is, uh, Kurt, I believe. Of 
So that kind of makes sense. Curd to Kurt to Wolf. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I might be totally wrong. <gasps> Big boss. Ugh. Um, admittedly, I know that because of, I know what I think I know because of Google Translate, because, uh, at one point I was playing a tabletop game, um, as a, you know, player, uh, and I had a character who was a, like, Mediterranean pirate, uh, and his name was Kurt Denise, uh, because according to Google Translate, that meant Sea Wolf. Uh, in Turkish. I don't know if that actually is true, but that's what Google Translate told me. Uh, and it was actually one of my favorite tabletop characters that I've ever played. Uh, he didn't get long to play as because he was only in like... Th that game only ran for like fucking like three sessions. But... This is a sad scene. <laughs> noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yubik, the word for wolf is Kavanek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. This is a sad scene. Dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale for some price or another. I'm really sad that, that game didn't last long, because it was a uh, uh, Orpheus game, which is about playing as like ghosts and stuff. So I was, uh, I was Kurt Denise, a ghost, um, ghost of a Mediterranean pirate. I had a spectral AK-47 and a spectral iPod that I could listen to pirate-themed music on. It was dumb as hell, but really fun. Oh shit. I was waiting for you to kill me, Snake. You and your super cool fighting prowess. Harakon, you show up at the worst time. Otacon, you knew her for like six minutes. She doesn't know your name. Otacon, you suck. You're not as bad as your dad, but you're pretty fucking bad, man. Come on, man. Also, look at that fucking wolf. God, GameCube graphics, man. GameCube animations. So good. I love it. <laughs> look at that. Look at it. So bad. I mean, so fantastic. So excellent. Nailed it. Otacon, I don't mean to diminish your sadness, but also, goddamn, man. You knew her for like six goddamned minutes. This is a sad scene, don't get me wrong. And I do empathize with Otacon. Because, like, losing someone you love or whatever. But, like, no, dude. You had a crush on her at best. Snake. You probably didn't even know her actual fucking name. But 
I couldn't save her. Also, I tried to trank her. I used tranks. She shouldn't be dead. But, you know. Again. Tranking out bosses doesn't actually change the plot at all in this game. It's just, you know. For funsies, you get to say that you only tranked them out, even though they all definitely die. <laughs> We're out of time. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. Especially me. This whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. Yeah, bad news, Otacon. You won't survive it. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. I mean, the codec is literally in nano machines in my blood. I think. So like, I can't really lose it. It's in my blood. Literally. Oh god, my legs asleep. Why does my leg fall asleep after like five goddamn minutes? God, I love these games. Okay. I love, I love Metal Gear so much. I dropped the controller. I love Metal Gear so much. I dropped the controller because I was slapping my leg. Also, I forgot I can control the cutscenes by doing this shit. Uh <laughs> um. Okay. So, fun fact. Uh, you know how a minute ago I, um, uh, had to do the change the disc thing? Uh, like right before the torture? In the original version, that happened, like, right around here. Um, which I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Um, there are mines here, right? Yeah, I remembered. Go me. Judging by the fact that there's flower. Oh, huh. Oh. Oops. Whatever. Uh, usually flower indicates that there's UV or not. UV, uh, infrared lasers or something. Because you can, like, shoot it to reveal lasers. Um... Hey, dog. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it's a bummer, I know. I liked her too. She was way cooler than Otacon. Uh, yeah, right here, I believe, is where the uh, disc change was. Which will come up in three more Metal Gear games. So keep an eye out for that. If for some reason you're still watching me in like two and a half goddamn years. 
Um, because let's be real, it's gonna take a while for me to get there. If I'm alternating, uh, between Metal Gear and, um, fucking Kingdom Hearts the way I am. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna beat this game this session. Next stream's probably gonna be pretty short, I will say. Um, but I don't think I'll beat this game here and now. Uh, just for the record, um, I could, but it'd probably be a decently long stream if I did that. So, like, longer than I want to do for any. Oh, what? Played this game. I've beaten this game more than a dozen goddamned times, and I literally never knew that was a thing. What? What? Well, um, Whew. okay. Well, I don't even, you know, I, sometimes it, hmm. Wow. Holy shit. How did I not know that? How did I never know about that? Wow, I'm an idiot. Like, I'm some kind of like moron idiot baby, huh? Wow. I'm a dumbass. How did I not know about that stupid fucking elevator? Wow. Like it literally changes nothing, but also, wow. Also, this is fun and dumb. That's how guns work. If four people shoot at the same place at once, it explodes. That's how guns work. <laughs> All the shells rain down. As if killing, as if taking out four dudes on an elevator once wasn't enough. Hey, here's that, but a second time. Oh, but this time it's only three? Wait, but there were four dudes in the cutscene. There were four dudes in the cutscene. What? There were four dudes in the cutscene. Why are there only three? What? I guess... I guess because I'm playing on easy? That's silly. That's dumb. Metal Gear, what are you doing? Metal Gear? Ya goober? Ya goobus? Metal Gear, you silly. You silly Metal Gear. Oh, you silly Metal Gear. 
Bam. Um, this room doesn't really have a point, honestly. I'll be real, this room kind of doesn't serve any purpose. A beep! Um, and now this time, there's all these weird black birds. Meaningless. Completely. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about Master? Why do you sound like you just crashed a helicopter? What's up? I was in the FBI too. Neat. Which point? Doctor Hunter's story about her background. Her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Neat. Yeah, I remember saying that earlier this stream. What? It was really bothering me. Why was she lying about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. Didn't they only say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Jesus Christ! Fuck. The chief and the president mysteriously died. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. God damn it. I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Suspicious. Well, sure it. Damn it. Metal Gear. All right, boss time. Time to fight another boss. Gonna drink it, but it doesn't matter. Caught my controller from dropping this time. Nailed it. God. Look at that fucking dude. Welcome, Cossack. What you call me? Punk? Look at that absolute unit. Absolute. Like, look at that dude. I'm becoming excited. Big boy. Big muscle man. Look at that. Mmm. Yeah, big boy indeed. <laughs> but that was no true battle. Yeah, man vs. tank isn't really a great fight. Oh, look at that fucking... Big ass gun. Look at that, that's not for people. That ammo thing ain't for people. Well, okay. That's cool. Am I hallucinating? I, I can't move. Well then. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. You'll notice he doesn't have the raven on his head anymore. The east flows within your veins. 
God, they have such a hard time explaining that line later. such a hard time explaining this shit in later games because it doesn't make sense because it's nonsense don't know if this is a real thing i really hope it is because that's actually this is actually really kind of cool like that's actually really kind of sick I agree, Snake. We will see if there is iron in your words. Like, Snake makes fun of the ear pull, which, fair, on, on the surface, it is kind of a silly and kind of funny thing. But, like, I don't know, man. That actually sounds really intense. Like... <laughs> Also, he fucking blew up the crate with a fucking missile launcher. It's so dumb. But, like, two dude, like, two people pulling on each other's ears, which fucking hurts. Like, in Alaska, in nature, getting, like, all that cold, 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 cold air exposure. And just seeing who lasts longest sounds really fucking intense. Like that that like that really sounds like a really sick endurance contest. Also, I love this. The fucking ravens just like... In this corner we have Big Boy with Gatling Gun! In this corner we have Snake with his little pistol! Uh, also, here's the one time... I'm gonna call him Natasha, because I love this one line. Oh yeah, yeah whatever. I haven't called her this whole game, because there's really no reason to, actually. would actually um okay so now for the actual thing usually mounted on f-16s it's a fucking there we go that's the line it's the only reason I ever call her um, so, 
The kind of fun way to deal with this fight, actually, is um to just lay a bunch of Claymore Mines. Like, the way I usually do it is to lay a bunch of Claymore Mines, and then, um... Uh, use the fucking, like, Nikita rocket launcher. Um, because then it's really fun, because then... Or it's really... Uh, fun's a strong word. It's really dumb as shit. Um... But I honestly don't know if I've ever actually tranked him out. And I kind of want to do that. Damn it. I'm... I got no accuracy. Um. But yeah, so basically... This map is this, like, grid. Come on, what the fuck? Some of those shots must have hit. Um, and he walks around it like... So far he's just walking back and forth, which is kind of dumb. Uh, but usually he walks like up, down, side to side. These skeletons are now alive. Uh... What? Um, and like is looking for you to shoot you with his very big gun. Um, but yeah, the way I usually beat this is lethally by just fucking, again, Claymore Mines make it so that, uh, he just constantly walks and blows himself up, and then, uh, if you use the Nikita missile, you can just, like, get him around corners and shit um and it's really dumb and like shameful or whatever but like it's fun it's dumb i don't know why this time he's just walking back and forth usually he doesn't do that i guess maybe it's because this time i'm actually like fighting him semi-legitimately but I've literally never seen him just walk back and forth like this. This is like, really dumb. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I swear, even on like very easy, usually he like, does more than just go back and forth here. This is really baffling. But, I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain. Because it's about what I'm handled to deal with. Oh shit, he turned a direction. Handled to deal with? D that's what I just said. That's not a phrase. Capable of dealing with, maybe. Capable of handling. Able to handle. Handled to deal with? That's not anything, me. Hey, don't shoot me. It's awful rude. Handle to deal with. What is that? That's nothing. Yeah, even the map is telling me like, hey, use Claymores and Nikitas. Don't fight this dude the real way. Oh wait, no, that, I don't want that. Uh, I will take that. And actually, this is not a bad fight to use body armor for. Uh, especially if you don't have the bandana or something. Like, if you don't have anything better. Body armor makes it so that you take, like, half damage, I think. 
which are, uh, you know, real helpful. Shit. Come on, man. Ear pull this motherfucker. Damn it. This is actually a really hard fight to to trank. Cause it seems like his big ammo thing like blocks shots. Look man, I wanna trank him. I want I wanna non-lethal him. I actually really like Raven. Raven's actually like a really interesting dude. And an interesting character, so I don't want to kill him with Claymores and Nikitas like you're supposed to. Also, he said he's into the ear pull, which... I mean... Is basically an ear pulling... Uh... T like... Showdown? Come on. Just gonna fucking turn away from me. Alright. That works. Nailed it. Joke is on you, motherfucker. I heal at the end of a boss fight. He gave up on shooting me, which was exactly what I needed. No, Vol Raven. Don't be like that. Raven, you're cool, man. That's actually pretty baller. I can dig it. Sky burial, man. Not my preferred way to go, but I can respect it. Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Neat, thanks. True. You and the boss, you are from another world. A kind world of. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. Spooky. I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. I saw lots of men die before my eyes. Mmm, interesting. Decoy Octopus, a member of Fox Hound. Huh. Well then. He was a master of disguise. Hmm. That's not really how blood works. Yeah, I would imagine not. Why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? Why indeed? <laughs> Maybe think about what he told you, Snake. Compared to what other people have told you. Maybe there's something there. Maybe. Snake? Maybe. What a cool dude. 
What a fucking baller buddy. What a sick motherfucker. That takes strength of character. And also... Nerves of steel? And I don't even know what. Do getting eaten by birds. That's gotta hurt. That's not true. No matter how far you go or how many corpses you crawl over. I don't think I've killed anyone yet, actually. Actually, I don't think I've killed anyone yet. Only tranked, I think. You don't even got bones left. He just gone. Shit, man! He just gone! That's Cray Cray Bananas! Those birds ate him awful fast. Especially bones. I don't think birds eat bones. At least not like ravens. Can I just do that? Naomi. Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. She can do that? There's like a mission going on, you know? Okay. Maybe we'd better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Naomi Hunter at all. What? <gasps> oh dang. <gasps> but she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Oh dang. Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. Oh shit. And who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Oh dang. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? <gasps> I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Fox House. Oh shit. You think she had a part in the uprising? Oh god, I hope this... I forgot how long this conversation is. I hope it's not very long, because I need to end this stream, because I really gotta use the bathroom again. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. Yeah. one of their spies. We're in big trouble. Big, big trouble. We got trouble right here in... Home base. Yeah, kinda. Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I, I have no idea. Fuck you, Colonel. We cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. Oh, beans. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. Yeah, sure. I'll give you two weeks. Um, uh, alright, y'all. Um, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna save. Oh, damn, fuck. Unless you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Remember cool, thanks. Um, so I'm going to save, and then we're going to call it, and, um, next time will almost certainly be the finale of this game. Like, almost certainly. Um, like, I'm putting it at about 97% chance that next time we're going to finish this game. Um, but thanks for watching, y'all. Um, and I will see you next time. I uh, love you. And, uh, bye-bye! Oh, shit. Bye! Bye!